Spark Bones. Bond. So the Ansalka. For all I had hoped to discuss with you, now that you are before me, I am lost for words. I know what you mean. But we'll have plenty of time to get to know each other. Hey, those are extremely short. I feel like they're gonna be very similar for everyone. Louis? What are you doing there? Oh, hello, Divine One. I wasn't doing anything of note, really. Merely observing those two over there chatting with one another. Um, okay. And you're doing that... why? That is the question, is it not? <laughs> there are all sorts of philosophical implications to the simple act of asking why. You're, you're avoiding the question, Louis. To which I suppose I would respond... for edification. So you watch people chat in order to learn things? Precisely. There is deep meaning in these seemingly simple encounters. Through observation, many delightful and subtle details reveal themselves. When one treats them as one would treat a gallery piece, can there possibly be any harm? I mean, that depends on the people talking. There, uh... I think maybe there can. What's right or wrong goes beyond rules and laws. There's courtesy and decency. If you knew they didn't like being watched, you'd stop, right? But of course, Divine One. I... Mm, I don't believe you. I would never elevate my appreciation above their own comfort. Just so we're clear. Well then, I guess I'll leave you to it. Very good, Divine One. I trust that I have eased any concerns you had. Uh, let's let's go again, Clan. Clan, thirty-third steward of the Divine Dragon. I am Saline, Princess of Firene. Yeah. Uh. Oh, Clan, I actually love uh. this. Uh. 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 You cut me down most go, effectively. Clan. No, no. One, the one. lingering taste. I'll be your partner. I am Vander, oh. 32nd steward of the dragon. Oh, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh. And he finishes, folks. I must continue hey. to oh, oh, yeah. The lingering taste of victory. Clan, 33rd steward of the divine dragon. Let's have a good match. Oh. Oh, oh damn! As strong as I expected. Yeah. Plan? The lingering taste of victory. I did a complete turn around here. Way to go! Dervishes, enemy soldiers, or puppet foes sometimes go back to areas that you have already cleared. You can return to these locations for optional skirmishes. Completing skirmishes can earn you experience and other rewards like gold and items. So yeah, I turned the game on to record and then just that popped up. Uh, so, well, I guess I'm doing that. So yeah, not much of note happened during the skirmish except that uh, Jean and uh, Alaire ended in a little situation where the last enemy mage kept attacking Alaire. And, you know, I was like, well, I mean, as long as he doesn't stop hurting Alaire, John can keep healing him and getting XP. So yeah, we did that until the enemy missed and then John killed him. We're now back in this map, which means... Donkey. You're mine now. And I guess I'll take the other sheep for good measure. And I think there was one more yes to chicken. <laughs> yeah, it's all coming together. So, important thing I found out. Uh, yeah, when you scan a fire emblem, you, go, you get one fashion ticket, and that's it. If you scan them again, you just get another random item. 
Which, oof, that's... Oh, Navar S. Oh, this comes with a skill. If unit initiates combat with a sword, grants crit plus 10 during combat. Oh. Support conversations galore. Is the tea to your liking, Princess Aileen? Very much so. I particularly enjoy the aroma. I smell a hint of citrus, along with floral notes, yes? More than one variety, if I'm not mistaken. It brings to mind the blossoms often found during the warmer months. Dang. Taken all together, the scent is most pleasing. That is a very deep analysis. I endeavor to satisfy. This black tea is a mix of leaves from Southern Firenze with dried fruit rinds and flowers. It's heavenly, as the blends you prepare always are. The chance to sip the tea you brew is one of the small joys that gets me through each day. <laughs> You're too kind, Princess Saline. Somewhat related, do you remember the special leaves I mentioned recently? Yes, of course. You said that they would produce a unique and distinctive flavor, if I recall. You recall correctly. I have a lead on how one might acquire such leaves. I take it that would interest you. Truly? You're right. I'd love to sample it for myself. Excellent. The wait will be worth it. Okay, so Louis is not only a people watcher, but also a tea blender. Chloe and John are locked from their training. Um, excuse me, Chloe. Well, hello, Jean. Did you need help with something? Not exactly. In fact, I thought maybe I could help you. Hmm. With what? I'd like you to have this stomach medicine. Oh, okay. Oh my! Thank you! But my stomach's not upset. Why did you think I needed medicine for it? Well, you eat so much weird stuff. It's only a matter of time before it disagrees with you. Oh. <laughs> Are you worried all the folk food I eat won't sit well with me? Don't you worry about that. I've got an iron stomach. Still in all, it's good to be prepared. Just the other day, I saw you stuffing yourself with what looked like weird eyeballs. Mm -hmm. Whatever that was, there's no way it can be healthy for you. Maybe, but they're so good. I'll save some for you next time, as thanks for the medicine. Oh, Sean. What? Um, that's okay. Your thanks are enough. Anyway, be careful. It scares me to think of what you're putting in your body. Sure, I'll be careful. Thanks for looking out for me, Jean. Okay, not, not where I thought that one was going to be going. Then Plan and Vander. I picked up the letters like you asked, Vander. Why do you sound so afraid? Ah, oh, yes. Set them down over there, will you? I also brought a letter opener. Thought you might need it. Very good, thank you. Plan, before I forget, will you deliver this package? Oh. Yes, sir. Mm, plan, I feel like there's something you're not saying. Answering letters. <laughs> A man of my age should put his fighting hand to nobler purposes. <sighs> Is something the matter? What? Oh, uh, no. Everything's <laughs> hunky-dory. It clearly isn't. Well, then why are you standing there gawking? I told you to deliver that package. Yep. Yes, sir. On with it, then. A faithful servant of the Divine Dragon wastes no time. Hmm... If you gave me some real steward work to do, maybe I'd take it more seriously. Pardon? N nothing I'll deliver that package for you right away, sir. Right, uh, actually, before I leave... Who do I not have? I mean, the most people I don't have support conversation food unlocked yet. Let me try giving some. Actually, not quite a few. Uh, Alfred, Sailing, Chloe, and Jean. I'm surprised I don't have a John considering how long we were next to each other. 
Uh, Alright, let me try gifting these people stuff and see if I unlock more sword conversations. Okay, a couple of gifts later and we got more support conversations. Morning, Divine One. Good morning, Alfred. That's quite the smile. Having a good day, are you? You can say that again. I got up before sunrise and did tons of training. Even got an early run in. And the cherry on top? I get to see your bright and shining face. What a day to be alive. Jesus, that is so much positivity. <laughs> There's no need to tease me. Who's teasing? Wouldn't you be just as happy to wake up to the sight of a friend? Well, yes. I do feel happy when I see my friends. See? <laughs> me too. But, uh, look, isn't there anything I can do for you? You've been awake a while, but it must be hard. There's bound to be a lot you're still adjusting to. Tell your friend Alfred all about it. Let me think. Hmm... No, there's nothing bothering me at the moment. Good, great. But if there is something, well, I want to be the first to know. <laughs> Before you left Lethos, you asked me as a friend to teach you things, to help you adjust. And knowing you wanted to be friends just tickled me. Our friendship makes me happy too, Alfred. Such wholesome boys. I really enjoyed our tea party today. Thanks for inviting me, Celine. The pleasure is all mine, Divine One. Our conversation made for an excellent spice over an already fine tea. The tea was fine, wasn't it? That floral note it had was almost unbelievably good. Probably made by Louis. I'm glad you appreciated it. The leaves were grown in Firenay, you know. The delicate, subtle taste embodies the spirit of our kingdom. It is my utmost favorite. Yeah, I've heard the Firenese prefer the pastoral life over any kind of open conflict. That really came through in this tea. There's a Firenese folktale I think you might find interesting. Our royal palace is home to a spirit who ensures happiness for the virtuous. For thieves or interlopers, however, the spirit drives them off with mischievous tricks. <laughs> Imagine, driven off by the prankish antics of a spirit. No serious consequences at all. How effective a deterrent do you suppose such a spirit really is? Even so, it's a lovely story. It's the kind of good-hearted tale that reflects the Firenese character, I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Well then, we must have tea together again sometime, Divine One. Okay, simple and sweet. <sighs> You're so adorable when you sleep, Divine One. Okay, and back to creepy. Huh? <laughs> oh, good morning. Did I wake you? Were you watching me sleep? Again? Again? Yes. Sorry about that. You should just leave me be if I nod off while I'm sitting outside. It's unnerving to wake up on your own and find someone staring at you. Oh, I never meant to do that, Divine One. But you slept for a thousand years, just like a character from a fairy tale. I feel this translates into a, I'm used to watching you sleep. Your sleeping form is so heavenly that I can't help staring at it. I get that. But I still must have been a ridiculous sight, sleeping here of all places. Oh no, not at all. But I have a compromise in mind. Hear me out. Th this ought to be good. If I'm always there when you wake up, maybe you'll get used to it and it won't be so startling. All we'd have to do is set up an extra bed for me in your chamber. Wow, a bit forward, aren't you? Nope, not doing that. Oh dear, shot down. Okay, uh, Chloe is, uh, giving me some, some bad vibes from her two support conversations so far. Fun vibes, but bad vibes. Oh, that, that should be, I, I, I forgot what I was gonna do now. Actually, before I go, I'm gonna go back to the room, because I haven't been back there.
Okay, just because I actually haven't uh, done the sleep thing, let's not see what happens. Sounds like someone's coming in. <sighs> Finally made it. Sorry I'm late. I knew it couldn't be far, but I somehow ended up on the other side of the sawmill. Um... Morning! You may have overslept. I got a bit lost. Okay. Wake up to an ally for the first time. The, oh, okay. That does what? Well, let's finally get on with the story. Almost there. Just a little farther north and we'll be at the shrine. The landscape's gotten rockier. We're near Brodia. It's all mountains up there. I'm seeing fewer villages as well. Makes this a good place to hide an emblem ring, I suppose. Yeah. The closer you are to the Brodian border, the colder and quieter it gets. Look. Not a soul in sight. You're right. There's no one around. Except her. That's an interesting hairstyle. Oh. Take a little look around. Wait for it. I wonder what she's doing here. <laughs> she's crying. Oh, well, doesn't that break the heart? Mm -hmm. Oh, you I better fools. help. I am her prince after all. I won't stand by when my people are suffering. Alfred, wait! <laughs> oh, what a scrape I'm in. Hey there. Huh? What's the matter? Something I can help with? <gasps> Z Z I knew we'd startle you. Sorry for popping up out of nowhere and... Zappy! You came just in time. I'm saved. Oh, oh, I know that voice. Uh, that's the same voice actress as... Oh god, uh, Yoshisawa from P5 Royal. Uh... I lost something earlier and there was nobody around to help, so I got real stressed out. Oh, right, I skipped over the niceties. You can call me Yunaka. Hiya, Papaya! <laughs> okay. Hiya, Papaya? Huh. I've never heard that one before. Anyway, what did you lose, Yunaka? It's a little round ring. Kind of shiny with a hole in the middle. That's how rings usually are, yes. Oh, and it talks for some reason. Come again? Yeah, I figured you wouldn't believe me. I believe you. It might be an emblem ring. Please, go on. What did it say? Hmm. <laughs> Well, if I remember right, it asked me to take it to the Divine Dragon. To me? Is that... did you... Uh, are you saying you're the Divine Dragon? Yes, I am. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I'm the Divine Dragon. And now that we're doing introductions, I'm Alfred, the Prince of Firenze. Holy broccoli! Why didn't you lead with that? Okay, I already love you, Naka. <laughs> I think I just had a heart attack. Nope, false alarm. Phew. I'm so sorry. I never meant to impact your health. <laughs> Yunaka, how did you find the ring? I was walking along the border, minding my own business, when I heard a woman's voice. Help me. I'm right here. I'm by your foot. Huh. You're quite the performer. Anyway, I picked up the ring and she said... Take me to the Divine Dragon. But at that point, I had no idea where the Divine Dragon was, so I told her I couldn't help. She knew the way, though. Told me to start heading for the capital of Firene. Oh, that's good advice. The quickest way to get to Lethos is through the capital. But on the way, I was attacked by bandits and ran off full speed. And now the ring's gone. I must have dropped it somewhere. 
Woe is me! Sniffle, sniffle. <coughs> the sniffle, sniffle caught me off guard. But now that you're here, you're gonna help me find it, right? Right? After hearing her story, this definitely sounds like an emblem ring. Probably the ring of the Dawn Maiden. But that means someone took it from the shrine. Or it could be another emblem ring. We'll just have to find it and see for ourselves. All right, Yunaka. We'll help you. Golly, that's great news. She'll be so happy if you're the one who finds her. Let's start by retracing your steps. No sign of the ring so far. Maybe somebody got to it before we did. Yeah, everyone's combing the area. If it was lying around, we would have found it by now. You're sure you didn't lose it before the bandits attacked? I had it on me when I passed through that ghost town over there. Huh? What is it? It looks like the town's overrun with bandits. What? How can you tell? I'll bet these are the same chumps who ambushed me earlier. Let's take a closer look. They've taken over the town. These are the bandits I ran into earlier. No doubt about it. And that means one of them's got... Aha! Right there. You see it? Yeah. A burly guy with something glinting in his hand. That's gotta be our missing ring. What do you think, Divine One? Is it an emblem ring? Hmm. He's too far. I really can't say. You must have great eyesight, Yunaka. Yeah, I have a killer's eyes. Oh. What was that? Killer eyes! I've got killer eyes! You know, they're great at seeing stuff. <laughs> if you ever need something looked at real good, I'm your gal! <laughs> wow. Anyway, what's the plan now? We've got two problems that need solving. A stolen ring and a town full of bandits. The ring's our first priority, but we can't leave them unchecked. We'll only attract attention if we all charge in at once. I say we split up. You know, send in a small group to recover the ring. Nice and stealthy. All right. Okay then. Come on, Divine One. You're with me. I have a bad feeling about this. Which I really don't want to, because I really like Yunaka. Okie dokes. If we go through here, I bet we can sneak up on that guy with the ring. Slipping through a side passage. Smart thinking, Yunaka. All right, now to spend half an hour preparing everything. Oh, this line of dead people does not bode well. I don't got a lot of information to go on, so I guess I'll just go with this. It's pitch black out here. How can we fight them if we can't even see them? Don't worry, Divine One. That's what I'm here for. You're not gonna join? My eyesight's so sharp, I can spot baddies even when it's dark or foggy. Till you get your hands on a torch, at least. Then you'll see as well as I can. Darkness. In dark places, only the areas around allies, beacons, and torches are visible. Proceed with caution. Enemies may be lurking in the darkness. There he is! Let's take him by surprise! Good idea. Please, take me to the Divine Dragon. <laughs> this looks pretty pricey. This'll net me a nice lump of gold. The boss doesn't need to know about it. <laughs> oh dear. You can't even hear me, can you? I hear her! That's the voice from before! That's definitely an emblem ring. Yunaka, will you help me get it back? Of course, you weirdo! That's why we're here! Right. Well, thank you. You know, now that I hear her, your impression was incredibly accurate. <laughs> Stop! You're gonna make me blush! Status effect, poison. Some classes, like thieves, use knives that inflict poison on foes they hit. 
Poisoned enemies take extra damage. Repeated knife attacks will increase the potency of the poison. Units remain poisoned until the end of a battle or until cured with an antitoxin or restored one. Uh, staff. Covert units gain twice the usual bonuses to avoid raid from terrain effects. They thrive in areas of lots of thickets or other terrains with beneficial effects. Okay. Some XP for her. <laughs> so where did you come from? <laughs> I am the Divine Dragon! Oh, I'm starting to think Tiz right. I think I might get a lot of crits for no good reason. But... my treasure! Ooh, lovely. We got the ring! Heal us, Emblem of Dawn! Who you are. But you seem familiar. I am Emblem Micaiah. I sense the future shifting. Now victory lies ahead. Okay, yeah, no, I have no idea who you are. Ah, so it is the Ring of the Dawn Maiden. Yunaka, I entrust this ring to you. Me? Uh, but I. She belongs with you. All I ask is that in return, you help us defeat these bandits. Will you join with Emblem Micaiah? Yeah. Okay. I won't let you down. Alright, let's me take a quick look at what Emblem Micaiah gives. Oh. Augment is very good. Oh. That is a great sacrifice indeed. And so Emblem Micaiah makes anyone a super healer. What's next? It's here. I'm happy to help. If you some support. Well, oh, actually it doesn't give you anything, it just you'll make support points. Yes. Um uh... Ooh, can someone turn on that torch? For the Divine Dragon! Okay, okay. Let's just draw you in. I live to serve. I will do what I must. Say the word. Let's keep the ladies close to give you that stat boost. For the Divine Dragon! Looks like we got us some uninvited guests. Snuff the lights, you lot! You got it! Oh, I didn't realize that was a path. <laughs> what? You weren't arranged before, though. Huh. Oh, that is hard. Is it over? Got the hammer. Hello. Uh... Oh, that's just an axe, right? So you know what? Just for now, get rid of the iron axe. Oh. Looks like our cover's blown. They're snuffing the torches. Don't sweat it. We can relight them as we go. Beacons. To light a beacon, move next to it and select the light. I already did that. Uncover hidden enemies by illuminating darkened areas. Yunaka, let me show you how to use staves. 
Emblem Mikai. Emblem Mikai specializes in healing magic. With the Sync Skill Cleric, a unit can use stays regardless of class. The Engage weapon, Shine, attacks and illuminates the area when used. Oh! The Engage skill, Augment, increases staff range and area of effect. The Engage attack, Great Sacrifice, fully restores the HP of all allies at a cost of reducing the user's HP to 1. Uh... You know what, just to see the animation. Quick change! With my magic, you may illuminate even the darkest of places. Uh, so I guess it's an actual attack she has to use. Oh, actually, yeah, let's take a... A closer look. Oh! I don't know why the Pfizer I really didn't expect. Okay, cool. Alright, but let's move you in first. Oh boy. I mean, that actually kind of works. Alright, let's start with... Actually... You need the XP more, so... That won't kill... So this will do some damage. Need some help? <laughs> I can keep going. And then the ground finish it. A push on. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh let's have you heal Bran. You saved me! Now well, let's see if Bran can finish this person off. Yes, she can. Don't mess with the steward. Longbow. Bow made to fire at long ranges. Oh, I'd love to give that to Etia, but. I think keeping a fallen area is probably smarter right now. Emphasis on the probably. Six, seven, uh, let's have you attack. For the divine dragon. Oh, got our torch. Okay, well, let's have that be moved forward. Oh, and of course, there's a mage there. Oh boy. It plus fifteen. Nice. I'm surprised they ran away and didn't attack. Okay.
This ends now. I am guided by the emblems. Seven, six. <laughs> Ooh. How smart of an idea is moving forward. Now, this is a very dumb idea. Well, let's have Fram move up. What's the worst that can happen by sending the healer off on their own? Sorry to trouble you. Actually, if she engages. What's the range of shine? It's just that. Let's, you know what? Let's test it out. I will not be afraid. Oh, okay, that greatly makes the area. Damn. So let's not make it an issue. I'm all set. enemies in that corner. Okay, so you can't kill them. And neither can you, but you can deal a hell of a lot of damage. It's 
tea time. I, okay, I didn't want to while you lasted. kill him, but okay. That was a good session. Thanks. That tier is almost leveled up, so... I can still do more. I haven't noticed how far under level you are. Push on. Uh, if that's XP, I'd rather someone else get it, but oh well. Okay, it was Bond Fragments. Okay, there we go. Now we can see what we're dealing with. Go over here. They're next to you to give you that boost. Man, I can't wait for reinforcements to appear and bust my ass. That's a weight off.
Alright, so let's deal with you. The strength of the stewards! Ah, so close to level up. A little late to be saving the day. We killed off the villagers ages ago. <laughs> Fate has brought us here. <laughs> I live to fight again. Oh, missed. I did not realize how low the hit rate for that was. I messed up. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> oh my god, that is BS. <laughs> On make it to heal one last time. Yes, he can. Big help. Sun has eighty four. The backers have nightfall. Let's go with backers. Justice, huh? 